Today, I'm with Norm and we are doing the Walmart versus Dick's budget fishing challenge. The way that this is gonna work is that me and Norm are gonna flip a coin. Actually, we're gonna flip a bottle cap because I don't have a coin because I forgot that. Along with the tripod, which y'all are seeing our tripod now. But we're gonna go ahead and flip this. Oh, that no. That was not the flip. Dude, do I have to be in the car the whole time or am yep. I allowed to hop out? Uh, no, we're gonna keep you in the car for oh, now. Man. I like your car. But we're gonna flip this. Whoever wins is gonna go into the Walmart and they're gonna have a $100 budget to pick out all the fishing stuff they need. Whoever loses is gonna go to Dick's Sporting Goods. Wait, so wait. loser gets to go to Dick's Sporting Goods? Yeah. That sounds like a good time to lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so sometimes it's it's good to lose in life, you know? Yep, that's dude, been doing it my whole life, so. Nice. So do you wanna flip it or do you want me to flip it? You know what, you do the honors, Norm. You ready? Go ahead and flip it, boy. That was an aggressive flip. That oh, was. My that was. Car. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a black okay. side. What is that? Is that Walmart? It's black. That's Walmart. Oh, dang <laughs> it, dude. All right. So Norm <laughs> has a hundred dollar budget at Walmart. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. And he's gonna have to pick out a rod, reel, lines, and five lures. And then I'm gonna have to do the same thing at Dick's Sporting Goods. Whoever the first person to catch a fish on all five of their fishing lures is going to win the fishing competition. Mm. How's it going? Good. You having a good time here? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're having a great time. time. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to go ahead and put our tripod up, and we're going to get into Walmart. Norm, have you ever made a tripod out of shopping carts? Oh, uh, no, never. Well, this is the first time for everything. <laughs> All right, guys, we have made it inside of Walmart. I have three minutes, right? Three, three minutes, minutes for rod, reel, line, and lures. Starting now, dude. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. You got like five more seconds. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so this is what we have. One big caster combo in the whole entire Walmart section. I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty penny. Scan below. Come on. It doesn't is have it a price tag on, on the it. Side? Wait, 75, oh, $98? Okay, oh, can't that, one that. Is, that was not oh. gonna do. Dude, the Shakespeare won 70 bucks? What? What the heck? Dang it, okay, so I guess I can't do a bait caster. Spinning combos are still like $50. We might have to go Zebco, dude. Zebco? <laughs> this one's got everything you need. I got to do it. All right, how much is this? This is, oh, $18. Okay, so I got boom. plenty of money for bait. All right, so what's my time looking like, Fletcher? One minute and 30 seconds. So. Oh, okay, I'm good, I'm good. So I think with something like a Zebco, maybe like not as stiff of a rod, I'm gonna go with some treble hook baits. A lipless crank bait, is that the only ones they sell? Man, <laughs> clock is ticking. Dude, I like to take my time, make sure I'm getting the right stuff. Red Eye Shad Boom Lure number one, easy, my go-to. We're gonna get some soft plastics for sure. I feel like bass, especially this time of year, would love anything like this. Um, Oh gosh, oh gosh. I don't even know what the water looks like out there. I'm doing some crawfish, just cause they're cheap. Um, oh my gosh, dude. Cinco's boom, chartreuse. They might be on bed. <laughs> they might be on bed. That's an so. interesting Cinco color. Hey, don't worry about it, dude. They like to see stuff they don't normally see. We'll do a uh, ribbon tail worm, boom, number four. And how much time I got? Uh, Am probably I like less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. Oh, 30 seconds exactly. Um, oh gosh, dude, I'm stressing out. I'm stressing out. I'm stressing. I am stressing, dude. I'm gonna do something crazy. Spinner worm. Spinner worm. Don't let me beat you with the <laughs> spinner worm. I just <laughs> shot myself in the foot. Is this a good color? I mean, oh, that's time. Well, there goes the time, guys. Three minutes up. How are you feeling about your five lure selection, Norm? Terrible. Um, so well, first I have a Zebco, it's $19. I think I only spent half my budget. I don't even think I went full hundo. But we have a spinner worm. We have ribbon tail worms, just a classic with a little chartreuse tail. I like a little bit of color on the end. We have chartreuse Cinco's. Don't know why I grabbed that, to be honest <laughs> yeah, with you. That's, that's, that seemed impulsive. These are good though, like a little speed cross. Oh yeah, you can't cross. go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with the craw. Like number one, I think, selling bait in the United States is a craw, like style of bait. Okay. Which is weird, because I thought it would have been worms. But I thought it would have been like a stick bait or it, a curly That's what tail. I thought too. Number one in sales is a craw, like a craw style bait. All right. Which is weird, so they work. <laughs> and then my all time favorite, dude, lipless crank bait, you can't go wrong. And that color looks so good, man. The red eye shad. Uh, sexy shad. Sexy shad, dude. Can't beat it. Come on, looks like bait. That's my supplies. I think I maybe spent $45. Well, I appreciate you being conservative with my wallet. Yeah, don't <laughs> mind it, man. <laughs> my wallet appreciates it, but it is time for me to go out and pick my lures. So we're gonna head to Dick's and see what they have. 
Oh, dude, the new, the new D's nuts flavor. <laughs> Only seven ingredients. <laughs> Only seven ingredients. We'll add it on. I think we're gonna have a little bit of extra budget. Only 148. Not too bad. Where's the scanner on this girl? The bottom. Oh, dang. <laughs> add it to your protection plan for two dollars. <laughs> I <laughs> think we're good. My hook sets, they are kind of. <laughs> they are? Yeah. I might break a rod. We have arrived at Dick's Sporting Goods. I know a lot of y'all in the comments last time from out of the country thought the name of the store was hilarious. But we have a three minute timer and that starts right now. All right, let's jump into it, guys. We got $100 to spend and I'm thinking we're going to need a rod and reel first. Something with line would be ideal. I know Norm had a Zepco. But did you know they have Zepco bait casters? I did not know <laughs> we that. We have a Zepco bait caster for what is this? No way. $59.99. Oh, that's a steal. Oh, With line, we don't have to worry about that. That's knocked out. We got a rod, we got a reel, we got our line. Now we just gotta pick five lures. And the fish have been munching pretty good recently. They've been moving up, doing their business, the birds and the bees, all that good stuff. So we just gotta find some things that accommodate that. And so I'm thinking some soft plastic, some moving baits, and I mean, do I need to look any further than a Shrike King Bitsy flipping jig? That is gonna get crushed. That is lure number one. Four more to go, let's see. Norm, are you jealous of all my selections? I'm so, you have aisles and aisles <laughs> We got like 10, uh, 10 aisles in digs compared to <laughs> one, you know, not very budget friendly aisle in, in Walmart. Yeah, and you have a bait caster for under $100, which is... With line, with line, awesome. don't forget about that. Uh, let's see. I don't know how much time I have left. I'm probably, yeah, I was I'm about probably to say how oh, much minute time. 18 seconds. Oh, I've been like taking hurry. way too much time. We're gonna get like one of these Ooh. little booyah frogs. Bold let's, choice. Let's get a, a little pep in our step here. We're definitely gonna go with a little dinger action. Let's get one of these. We got some rage tails. We need one more thing. Some kind of moving bait. I'm thinking the micro spinner blade is gonna be the move. We're gonna go with the chartreuse and white. I feel like you can't, you know, beat that. That's a that's a great little option. And uh, we have our full selection here. With time to kill, 14 seconds to kill. Good, Good job, man. <laughs> I have a question. So with the jig, can you pair that up and count it as two lures, or is that cheating, or do you um, have to catch it separately with the We're jig? gonna have to catch them separately. Okay. I'm, I'm not, <laughs> we're, not, we're, not, we're not gonna do that to you. I'm so jealous he got <laughs> Dick Sporting Goods. <laughs> I have $40 of fishing equipment, and that got me five lures, rod, reel, and lures. I'm terrified. I'd be honored if I caught one fish. Don't underestimate the power of the Zebco, dude. It's been dominating the fishing industry for, I mean, forever. How, I mean, forever, so, I mean, so, it's gotta be doing something right. I'm just kind of jealous here's up go big caster. That frog with fluorocarbon though, that might have been your downfall. I don't know if that's six pound line or not. I'm just saying. That is a good point. I thought it when you <laughs> grabbed it and I said nothing. So we have made it to the pond guys. We got the twin trollers and it is about time to blast off. We got our rods, we got our baits and the way that somebody is going to win is going to be the first person to catch a fish on all five of their lures. Do you feel like you made the right choices? No. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> like, if I win, I'm going to hey. be very disappointed in you. <laughs> I, I have a knack for losing my own challenges. I went in everybody else's videos but my own. So we're, we're trying to you know change the tides to here today. Question, can one of my lures be what's came in the Zepco pack? Yes or no? Ah, uh, yeah, if you start. wanted to. Okay. I'll give you that. You can have some bonus lures. All but just right. to catch a fish on at least five lures. Gotcha. It, can, it can't be a, like a panfish though. Has to be a bass. Has to be a bass. What about crappie? That's a panfish, dude. Is it? I would say so. Okay, I feel real dumb now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I feel like it's uh, time to officially get started. All right, we're going to have a blast off. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Guys, I've been on one of these since like the last time I was on Fletcher's channel. It's been like, oh, yeah, it's, it's what, left. three years yeah. ago? Yeah, like three <laughs> years since I've been on one of these. These things are so cool. All right, so guys, I got the Zebco 404 15 pound line clubs on this. Oh, we are chilling. It just comes with 97 zip ties. All right, guys, I've been losing a lot of challenges recently. We're going to have to change that. We're going to try to get on a winning streak here. And that starts with whipping Norm's booty. So let's go ahead and get this undone. We got a little tape on this spool. I swear it's always the hardest thing in the world to find where tape starts. So five fish wins this challenge. Fletcher did say I could use one of the lures that comes inside of here. And I really like this like swim bait that comes with the Zebco. So I assume it'll probably cast pretty good. Just gotta cut all these things off for everybody wanting to steal a $13 combo. 
got this thing secured good. Let's go ahead and pull this line out and get spooled up and see what we're gonna fish with first. I hope this is more than like 10 pound test. It actually feels like it's pretty good. I think it's like 15. So we should be good to go with the frog. Let's thread this thing on up. Gosh, guys, last time I fished with a push button, I can't even remember. I feel like I was fishing with a kiddie pole the last time. It's been like a year since I've used one of these, but this is Davy Gravy's favorite combo, his old Zebco 404. So I gotta put on a show for him because I know he's watching right now. All right, rig it up. Make sure that reel is nice and secure looks like we got ourselves a five foot combo maybe it's a four foot maybe that's why it's a four. Oh yeah five foot six inches nice <sighs> just like my high school bully Ugh. there's like tons of no seams out here golly this this is not it's already not working i'm already itchy see i'm already at a disadvantage because my rod and reel requires assembly fletcher's already got his line through his eyes this is not good how's it going over there bud i'm just trying to figure this thing out dude i haven't used a zebco since i was like 11. have you got, got your line through the through the eyelets yet i got just one of them i do oh there you go good news is mine only has four eyes so like it's not a lot of work <laughs> yeah i think the the way to start here guys is it's probably Go ahead and tie on this little spinner bait. I think maybe getting these moving baits out of the way and the top water, then we just bring it on home with, with the soft plastics. Let's get her rigged up and see what the fish think. Boom, set the drag, not too tight. I think we have 15 pound line on here is what it says. So we might actually not snap off that much. <laughs> Look at that in the package, pre-rigged comes a swim bait. How do you open this? What in the world? The fish should be pushed up against the bank. It's definitely spawning season. So I think just running this by some shallow areas, some shallow flats should go pretty well. On the Fletcher channel, I know it's probably your guys' first time ever seeing me. So I feel like I got to show out. I got a lot of pressure, but I do have a Zebco and little tiny swim baits. I do not like the hook on that at all. Oh! Are there like bugs eating your legs like crazy or is that just me? Yeah, they're 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 getting uh, they're getting some bites in here. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Um I actually might go grab bug spray for us. No, nah, dude, I like to I like to suffer, man, for real. Dude, if the bass are biting like half as good as these bugs are on my legs, dude, it's gonna be a day. All right. Ooh! So apparently I have a really smooth brain, and so do you, because we both forgot weights and hooks <laughs> oh dude you didn't say terminal tackle in the thing so i never even thought so you know we're just gonna add that because we can do whatever we want because it's our video but i do need to go grab this dude this swim bait's <laughs> booty is so hard left bro like it's not straight at all like i'm throwing what, like what a, the ones in the packaging yeah like it, it got messed up it's like it has a whole 180 degree turn on it but i'm gonna use it man <laughs> first cast magic is it swimming at all huh is it swimming at all? I mean, uh, kind of. Kind of? Yeah, it depends on your definition of swimming. Oh, frick. Oh, yeah, there we go. We just gotta, we just gotta break her in a little bit. If we could do that every time, Zipco, me and you will be good friends. So since I'm an idiot and I forgot to get the hooks and bullet weights for us, um, I guess it's kind of Norm's fault as well. But since it's my video, I will take the mulligan and give him a little advantage with time here and go grab those things. Hopefully there's some in the golf cart. Please be something in here that we can make work. Uh, we have jig heads. That's good. That could qualify. We have a bullet weight. Ooh, what other goodies do we have in here? Oh, we got more bullet weights. That's what I like to see. Oh yeah, EWG. That is what I'm talking about, baby. Never thought I'd be so excited for one of those. Let's zip back down to the pond. I'll go get more of these things. Oh, we forgot the bug spray. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, girl. Do that thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is awesome. This is so cool. I'm so happy. There's a little alligator up here. Oh, cool. Cool. Am I... Am I dumb? What is going on right now? Good news, Norm. We have three bullet weights and two EWG hooks. Oh, nice, dude. One apiece. So better make it count. That makes it a little bit more of a challenge. Gosh, I'm gonna have to catch the dumbest fish in the world to eat this sideways swim bait. You gotta bring Norm a care package. How's that sucker perform? It's good, man. Like one out of every eight casts, it casts. There you go. That's what I like to hear. I come bearing gifts. Thank you, good sir. I have EWG hooks. Two bullet weights, one jig head, and bug spray. <laughs> yeah, bug spray is gonna be what's first on my list for real. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's crazy how many bugs there are out here. Oh. Here you go, man. There is, Thank you. There's all your 
glorious terminal tackle. Put in my terminal tackle box. <sighs> all right, spray. yeah, that's that's happening. Yeah, that's all the stuff. Over. We're getting that all up in my pores, and I'm gonna hear from my doctor in five years. Bop, bop, bop. Dang, dude. Nothing like D to to expand your lifespan. Yeah. <laughs> I like to lick my hands after I rub it in to make sure it's the good kind. Every fish we catch, you had to take a shot of deep. <laughs> straight yeah. straight to the throat. Yeah, he goes to the hospital first. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised I'm that's out right. of all the lures you decided to go with that one. Yeah, to be honest, it was already pre-rigged and I didn't feel like doing any rigging myself. So time is of the essence, I, I assume? Yeah. Or, I, or just lazy? It's, it's a little bit of both. If I win this challenge, I need as much time in the water as possible. Yep. That's yep. that's not there how you're is. gonna get time in the water there. It, it likes to do that sometimes. It's a little bit performance shy. All right. Guys already making a lure switch. I don't know what the deal is with this, but I think we're gonna come back to her. I'm gonna troll to the other side of the lake and to start. I'm gonna use this lipless crankbait. It's also kind of crazy. Walmart has reusable bags now. I've never seen a Walmart bag like that. It's kind of crazy talk i'm not gonna lie guys for 59.99 this is a pretty slick looking bait caster i'm pretty blown away with zepco for putting something out like this but this thing seems like it should do the job for me here today just gotta get it dialed in and that's, that's not what we needed was that giant backlash but if we can avoid that and keep this in the water more than norm is i mean it seems like he's getting the bait in the water every three cast so if we can manage to do better than that i think we'll we have a pretty good chance of winning here guys i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty positive i'm gonna lose this <laughs> i know you always should go into things thinking you know what i got a good chance this one unless i can catch five fish trolling a worm might be in a little bit of trouble. At least I got a spinner worm. That might actually end up being one of my best lures for like the casting abilities I have. All right. So this turns it this way. Maybe this will help me cast all the kinks out of my line. A few moments later. All right, come on, Zipka. We can be friends. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fletcher, I think you're gonna 5 0 me. <laughs> you think so? I'm, I'm pretty positive. <laughs> well, if I can just cast this thing without bat lashing, that would be great. Yeah, if I could cast this one, I think I'd be I'd be looking good. Here goes nothing. Let's give this a shot. I heard a, a bass splashing around up here. Good news is we cast it without bat lashing. Now it's time to actually check out the action on this thing. I see a bed. I heard some splashing around when I was dealing with this thing. Maybe there's a fish up here? Oh, yeah, buddy. We striking first. No stay on, way. Stay on. Stay on. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. Okay, she's a feisty little girl. And it seems like the, the Zepco baitcaster is staying in the test. Let's go, son. Oh, I'm so in trouble. I got one cast and I snagged myself. Did you just miss one? No, I just, I found there's a piece of structure right here if you want to mark it on your graph. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that is fish number one. Probably about a one and a half pounder, two pounder. Pretty looking fish, super healthy. We're going to let her on go and see if we can't get another. All right, four more baits to go. Norm, I'm feeling for you, man. My only trolling lure is stuck on some random, like, it's not even a tree, dude. It's like somebody just threw down their car. Get off of there. I, I'm i looking at it. Well, let's keep it rocking and rolling, guys. I like that that fish was up there. Maybe there's a few more up shallow. And the sun is coming down, which means it's probably a good time to throw some top water. Put this little frog to the test. See if we can't get one to blow up on it. So... Norm, I do have a solution for you. And since I'm a nice guy and I donate to children, <laughs> I'll be, I, I, I will gladly give you a chance to have another rod because I have that exact same rod at home. Dude. And if you want to drive back in the golf cart, you can get a functioning version. Dude, I don't even believe in that, man. I'm going to win this the right way. You think so? By using the broken one. Well, when you're ready to throw your pride to the side, the option's open. <laughs> Never. All right, well, guys, I have to sacrifice my lipless crankbait. It's gone forever. You will be missed. 
So the deal is now, Norm, you gotta catch two fish on two baits. Okay. To place your lip list, you have a, a mulligan, or I don't know if that's even the right term, but you just have to catch an additional fish. Gotcha. All right, sounds good. Guys, I'm gonna throw the spinner worm around. Who knew that this would end up being my best lure, probably? The good news, Norm, if you can actually cast your, your line in the water, they will bite it. That sounds like a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie. That sounds like a good time. Dude, if I could troll this thing, you're gonna be in so much trouble, dude. What are you trying to troll? The spinner worm. <laughs> I feel like it's worth trying this bed again. There could be another fish up on it. We get two fish in the same spot. Oh, we cooking. All right, we're going to go try the bank. I think they're hugging up under these shade pockets. I found out a strat, so I open it. And whenever it keeps giving line, which is kind of like right now, I grab my lure. Okay, maybe not. Oh. Good cast, please, please. Oh, I got one! I got one, Fletcher! Really? Oh, it's a spinning worm! It was like oh my only my good God. cast, and I got one. Or I haven't caught it, obviously, but I Who hope Are you so. rolling? Yeah, I'm rolling. I hope I am. Yeah, I trolling, am. Trolling, not rolling. Am I rolling? Wait, trolling! Uh, what does that even mean, dude? What, what are you, you saying to me? the lure. T am I rolling it? <laughs> dude, I don't know what you're talking about. You're just trying to throw me off my game. Please be a bass. It is a bass. Oh, gosh, it is fighting on the Zebco. I will say this is kind of fun. Oh, I snapped my rod in half. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I caught him, though. I got one, and I am happy. There you go. <laughs> Oh, what a fish catch. Got him with the second hook on the spinner worm. Holy smokes. Dude, I hope your friends don't hear about this because that is kind of an embarrassing way to get hooked. <laughs> well, guys, I'm on the board. A little, uh, little pounder, if even, but it feels good to catch something on the Zepco. Uh, instantly snapped it. So now I'm rodless and realless, but we'll figure something out. We got one on the board. <laughs> I did not think I'd be saying this. Oh, uh, that's pretty awesome. All right. Thank you, buddy. Probably got the smallest fish in the whole entire pond, but I am very proud of it. Should've gotten a little selfie with them. All right, dude, well now the two piece is a three piece, but that, I think that's kind of cool. All right, now we're gonna have the meat stick. I'm gonna cut off the top here and tie on our next lure. If I beat Fletcher, <laughs> yeah, I really hope I don't for his sake. <laughs> oh man, guys, I can't believe Norm just got one on a completely unfunctioning rod and then he just snapped it so i don't even know how he's gonna continue to fish here besides just dragging the line behind the boat and i don't <laughs> i don't even know if his reel's functioning if he's hand spooling stuff i don't know really what's going on over there but hey i i admire the fight that he's staying in it and the fact that it's tied is a little embarrassing i'm not gonna lie even though we did have a dilemma but we're, we're about to get out of here. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Crushed it. No, it came off. Oh, no. dude, it's the fluorocarbon, bro. <laughs> I would be worried, but your rod is broken and your reel is broken. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, your reel broke too? No, no, I said I would be worried, but your rod and reel are broken. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, no, dude, you're chilling, man. So <laughs> I think we're going to have another opportunity to get out here, but that was a good one, guys. We just need to get a better hook set, and we're going to have to reset this frog. It looks like the hook went into the, the body of the frog a little bit, but we have no backbone on this thing. We're gonna go across over here really quick, kind of close to where Norm caught that fish. There's a little pocket that I like on this body of water. I wanna see if there's a fish up in it. Boom, got the Texas rig rigged up. What's gonna be nice is this Texas rig with the uh, weight and the soft plastic will be the same exact rig for like my next four lures or for the rest of the whole entire challenge. So I don't have to like re-rig again. Are you re rigging all your soft plastics on the spinner? <laughs> Dude, don't even worry about it, man. <laughs> all right. It's top secret over here, bro. That's, I'll let you know for $19.99 a month. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I just, I tied it onto a Texas rig. <laughs> all right, guys, check it out. New combo. <laughs> Two eyes for minimum uh, eye tangling, um, and a little Texas rig. Oh, and that cast. Okay. Oh, dude. Talking smack over there, boy. No, just playing strategic over here. Dude, honestly, this thing kind of works better, like, without the rest of the rod on it. All right. We are raving up at the spot that I'm excited to finish. Please let there be one up in here that wants to eat this frog. Yes! No! Dag! 
nab it. Dang, dude. Dude, you know, this thing doesn't have the backbone that I needed to have to, to set the, the hook with the frog. I don't know why I decided to get a frog out of all things. I was wondering the same thing, dude, but if you need a raw good backbone, you can borrow mine if you want. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, dude. This one's pretty good. <laughs> We're gonna we're just gonna crank up the drag. I think we're we're probably better off with this rod than what you got going on over there. Get back in there. Ooh, that was juicy. Way up in there. Got the skip cast going with the Zepco. Oh, ooh, ooh, I had one roll on it. She didn't slurp it, but she rolled. Dude, I hear them just like exploding yeah. on it. <laughs> Sounds like you're at like a zoo and then you just like I mean, fed the penguins. Dude, if I just had a backbone on this thing, I would be cranking them right now. Dude, it's like four topwater frog blow ups in like five minutes. Yeah, oh six. my gosh, you again. <laughs> I mean, third time's a charm, am I right? Dude, I'm not gonna say I'm really jealous of your setup, but I'm really jealous of your setup. Hey, you know, be, just be grateful what you got, man. You're right. I'm really selling it here, guys. I'm getting the bites on the frog. I'm just not getting the, the hook up that I need because I got a noodle for a rod. Let's go ahead and move over to this bank and see what's going on. Okay, there's like a little thing where it breaks and line can freely come through. So what I'm doing is I'm finding it. It takes me like eight clicks of the button for it to finally work, throwing it out, and then it stops it. <laughs> but I can get about, gosh, I don't know, that might be like 10 foot of line out. So all I gotta do is get really dumb lucky a lot of times before Fletcher catches a fish on the frog. Because I feel like once he does that, he's going to bang out his other lures really quick. Slinger on up there. And not in the tree. That would be a good start. Ah, that's better. There we go. Got that one. I got that one. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, she, she's actually pretty big, guys. It's actually a pretty oh, big fish. Oh yeah, Fletcher's got one. That's Was actually, that the frog? Dude, she's actually big. She's actually big. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's a big one. She's a big one. Dude, that's giant. That's, that's a good fish. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Dude, that looked like oh, an eight pounder from over here. Oh my gosh. Guys, this might be like a six pounder. She's She's got a head on her. She's got a head. It's kind of hard to tell with this setup. I'm not really sure. I'm just trying to play her careful because I can't flip her in. I don't have heavy enough line to do that. And I don't know how well I got a hook in this thing, but we're gonna bring her on in. Come here, come here! <gasps> yeah, bro! That is a freaking chunk! Holy smokes, guys! That's like, that's probably a six pounder. That is <laughs> on the little Zebco combo, baby! That's what I'm talking about! I am so jealous right now. You guys don't even know. I'm just mastering the art of Zebco push button fishing right now. We missed them, but that was well worth the wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's throw her on the scale. I think she's probably gonna be right around six if I had to guess. She's she's short, but holy moly is she thick. I mean, she's a girthosaurus if I've ever seen one. I mean, just <laughs> short and stocky as can be. Let's get the scale out and see what the damage is. Six pounds, six ounces. Six pounds, six ounces. Holy smokes, dude. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Dude, that was so unexpected. Do you catch that on the frog? On the frog. Oh, that's ridiculous, dude. That Congrats. is nutty. <laughs> well, I appreciate the, the bite, big girl. I, I knew there was some big ones in here, but I honestly was not expecting to get one with what we had. <laughs> I mean, goodness gracious, let's keep it rolling, baby. That's what I like to see. Guys, a six pounder on a frog with fluorocarbon, that is quite the flex. Now all we have left are like pitching and flipping baits, which I think is going to be the easiest of the bunch. So let's just keep it moving and grooving with those. Let's tie this next lure on. The Strike King Bitsy Jig is one of my favorite lures. I've had a ton of luck, a ton of success with this thing, and it is just, you know, done me really well over the years. And it's definitely a jig I recommend picking up for you guys. A great bang for your buck. But let's get her tied on and see what the fish think, because I think this one's going to go quick. Here goes nothing. Had a little knot in there. So let's try that again. Ah, there we go. That's better. Right back where we caught that last fish. Right away. Dude. I just threw right back in where I had that fish. First bite, or no, first cast I got a bite, and I just snapped off. Really? really? Oh. Did you ever figure out what pound line you had? Um... 
Uh, I think it's like 15, maybe. Like 12, okay, 15, that's, that's, that's what thought. it feels like. I'm surprised that snapped. I must have had a nick or something. But I'll tell you this. Since we both lost a lure, first person to catch a fish on four lures wins. Okay, I like that. Uh, I think that increases <laughs> yeah, my odds a little bit. <laughs> we're changing the rules by the second because we can. I'm cool with that rule change. So since we're on to the next lure, we're gonna go ahead and tie this on and see what we can do. I'm gonna go with a Ned rig. I have a bullet weight, I have an EWG, but I think this Ned head is gonna be the move because I do have a little small jig trailer as a lure. And I think this will just be a little bit better, a little bit lighter hook. Don't have to give as much oomph to get that bait actually in the fish's mouth. Got that little Ned head all rigged up. And the next thing we gotta do is apply the soft plastic that we chose just gotta straighten this hook out a little bit it's a little bent out but that should do looking like brand new let's get right back at it dude i will say my hookup ratio i am one for one not to brag but when a fish bites dude the zubco does end up getting that hook set at them yeah you're you're bad in a hundred <laughs> oh, no. oh. oh that's that's the cast right there Just keep that energy up and you, maybe you'll have a chance. Uh-oh. 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 No, dude, I didn't even set the hook on. Oh, oh my God, God you got another one. Stay on. Stay Are on. Are you kidding me? Stop. I can't even keep up with them, Fletcher. I can't. Is this really tied right now? I oh, please, please. I need you. I need you. Don't break my rod again. Just stop it. Stop fighting. Give up. You've already lost. <sighs> Dude, it's pulling so hard. I don't even know if it's a big fish or not. It's just pulling. Oh, have you seen it at all? No, I, I haven't seen him yet. Dude, if you catch a bigger fish than me with that thing, oh I'm gonna be a little gosh. disappointed. Dude, I didn't even get a good hook set. I don't know how I still have him hooked. Like I did not <laughs> set the hook all too great. Dude, how is my bullet weight all the way up here? <sighs> <laughs> it's not a six pounder, but it's definitely bigger than my first one. Hey, there you Dude, go. Dude, honestly, pretty stellar hook set. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Dude, two to two? No way. I'm a little embarrassed. I I'm embarrassed on behalf of you. <laughs> I'm proud of myself, and I don't know. I didn't think I'd be able to pull this off. Dude. That's not a bad bass, dude. That's a pound and a, a little bit of change. Thank you, buddy. All right. I'll be honest, guys. I did not think I was going to get this far into the challenge. I thought I was going to get 5 would So it's now two to two. First to four wins. So this is a two fish game right now. I got to figure out what I'm going to tie on next. I cannot believe I just did that. <sighs> next up, we got the pumpkin chartreuse worm, a 20 pack. So if I mess something up, we got lots of extras. These things are super cheap, but also get the job done. I did not realize I accidentally bought the smaller ones, but might play out in my favor just to have a better hookup rate ratio if i was fishing with a normal combo i probably would go with the bigger worm i'd be lying if i said i'm a little nervous right now i Dude, have I've... everything to lose and you have everything to win yeah you are kind of in a tough position i won't <laughs> lie like this will forever go down in youtube history <laughs> if i somehow pull out this win the odds are slim to none i feel like i've used up a lot of my luck but if it did happen gosh dude i don't know i feel like you should have to go get like a tattoo of a broken zebco on your leg if I'll, this I'll get norm tatted on my forehead oh dude if it's i lose go time this. now you shouldn't have said that subscribe to norm right on my forehead <laughs> It's funny because Yak has that tatted on his finger. <laughs> Does he really? Yeah. Oh, dude, that was a good cast. That was a good cast for me. Oh, dang. I see how it is. You like that? No, not at all. Gosh, I almost had it. Got one. There we go. There we go. Fish number three. Stay on, please. Please, 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 please. You already came off on my frog. I'm assuming you're the same fish. This is the same spot. And get in the boat. Yes. <laughs> yes. One more to go. Oh, no, dude. The what? one time it passed, I got swung into the tree. <laughs> the one time it worked. <laughs> oh, it came out. <laughs> oh, please give me a fish right here just to make Fletcher all nervous. Squirrels don't count, by the way. Dude, I know that fish was in an underwater cage for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, planted. Yeah. You might want to cut her stomach open. She got some weights in her, too. <laughs> Thank you for the munch, little lady. One more to go, guys. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. I'm liking my odds here. 
I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm giving respect where it's due though. I can't believe Norm is even remotely in this against all odds, but he's hanging in there and it is three to two. And he's honestly yes. not a bad place to, to get another bite here. It seemed like there was a good amount of fish up against this bank. Dude, this is where I caught my spinner worm fish. Really? Yeah, it was like literally in that same corner. That's why I passed it. I didn't think there'd be another one. Yeah, I had three blow ups right here. It seems like they're kind of stacked. All right, whip out the dick's bag, get our last thing out of here. We got the yum and dinger. And oh, you got a yum dinger as your final? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Oh. Guys, it looks like there's a bass on a bed right here. Oh yeah, there is, there is. Okay, I'm not in there. I'm not in there. Oh, he swam off. He saw me and got spooked. Dinger time. Let's get it rigged and ready to go, boys. I can feel the dub. I can feel it in my veins. The drag up. Oh, first cast. Yeah, oh, let's go. First uh, cast yeah. with the dinger. <laughs> I'm sorry to do it to you, Norm. Nah, it had to happen at some point. It's game over. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. That is the dub. Appreciate the bite, baby. Woo.